and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for their next Halloween deck here with Hawkeye wearing his cute little wizard hat. We got Rakdos aggro. Um, Haw Hawkeye's not too big of a fan of, of his Halloween costume, but he's he's doing he's doing pretty good though. Yeah, he's wearing it just fine. Um, yeah, so we got Rakdos aggro here. We're gonna try this deck out. Um, the, the main thing that I really like about this deck is the, um, the experimental frenzies. Like this is going to be a, you know, a Rakdos aggro deck that, that does have like the frenzies. Um, I could play, we could play one Ember Cleave instead of the Chandra. Yeah, let's, let's play one Ember Cleave actually. We were talking about that earlier. I kind of forgot to to change that. I think we want to play one Ember Cleave instead of a Chandra, with Ember Cleave um, being really awesome with Rankle, Dreadhorde, Butcher, Knight of the Ebon Legion, some of these cards. Um, <laughs> you know, like your hat. It has like little ear, you know, like little ear things here. But there's there's no way he would let me put the little ear things in, right? Oh, here we go. Look at that. Got the little ear thing on. Oh, no, not anymore. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, yeah, you know, like we're, we're being aggressive, but we have the really good late game with Experimental Frenzy. One thing that, that I like, like basically the reason why we kind of put this deck together is Robber the Rich, you know, like that, that uh, trigger. It does say during any turn you attacked with a rogue. And so we're playing that with Rankle. Uh, which is also a rogue. So I like playing these two cards together as like some extra rogues to put into your robber of the rich deck. <laughs> Get... uh, splashing blue for royal scions in this deck. Could definitely do that. Um, yeah, honestly, like I have a, a Grixis deck that's pretty similar to this that, that plays royal scions. Um, yeah, that's, that's honestly something we could do. Royal Sons is really strong. I wouldn't dislike that at all. But let's just stick it with... Let's just stay with aggro here. Stick with Rakdos. So we'll play, like, four matches. You know, we'll see how long how long it goes. Like, you know, we just played four matches. The Orzov value because those two and a half hours were really good long matches there. <laughs> He's not a fan of this, this hat. But cats don't really like clothing too much. <laughs> Here, you can attack the hat. There you go. He likes these. He likes playing with these strings, though. <laughs> so he he likes that part of the hat. Um, need more lands, but we'll get him. All right, so let's chalk this thing. Got to bolt the bird. I think frenzy frenzy is a lot more powerful than light at the stage. All right, well, we are not drawing lands. That's not good. It's possible they needed the Gilded Goose for blue mana for Oko. Darn. Risen Reef. Looks like <clears throat> people are back on the Risen Reef train. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Cats love clothes that are in a in a basket. That's true. Right after you did laundry. So we can have Rankle sacrifice the Dreadhorde Butcher to be able to kill the Risen Reef. If we draw land. Uh, yeah, they, they could unban Field of the Dead and then ban Once Upon a Time, but they're not going to do that. They're not going to unban a card they just banned. Yeah, this is this is a, a good way to beat Oko is go way over the top with and that's what this deck certainly does. Just casting Fey of Wishes. That's somebody who wants to be prepared for a wrinkle. Yeah, Goose, Leafkin, Druid. There's there's just so many good blockers for Dreadhorde Butcher, unfortunately. So they get all the cards in the world, but they are at nine. Never mind. Every tale about We're dead. Is absolute nonsense and absolutely true. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Hey, legit. Happy Halloween. It is a rare. Okay, yeah. I hope trick or treating went well. Welcome back. I think it's fair to say that Simic cards are pretty powerful. I think that's fair to say. Hey, Alder 2. Happy Halloween. This is pretty close to the same deck we just played against our last match with Orzal Value.
<laughs> I found something for you to dote on. Cavalier of Thorns has reach. That's good. So I, I killed the 2-2 because I don't think it's worth killing these Risen Reefs. I think like our, our way to win is like them getting milled out by Risen Reefs, them not having a Jace. And doing two damage to them when them having with them having the Great Henge isn't very valuable either. What's up, boss? Hope life's going great for you, Tom. Miss ya. you exile a token they have of Risen Reef, do you still exile all of the Risen Reef? Yeah, if it was, if like Legion's End could target this, it Legion's End can't target it because it has three CMC, but if, if it could, then it, yes, it would still do all the other ones. They all have the same name. What's up, Will? Oh, that is awesome. Happy to help. Happy Halloween, Will. All right, so looks like I'm just going to get beaten down by a bunch of Troll Kings. Looks like that's where we're going here with this game. Sir Calbino with the sub as well. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are having as good of a Halloween as I am here. All right, so we're going to block this, block this, block that, block that. No, they're gonna kill me with these huge tramplers. They're not they're not gonna jace. Doesn't look like. I mean that's kind of the wrong one to kill because they just bring that back. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing here, sideboard. Let's see, what do we got? We got a bunch of... Got a bunch of Noxious Grasps. Risen Reef's always an annoying card to deal with. We have all the shocks. 
Okay. So... We got a Halloween tie. It's not a specific costume. <clears throat> all right, so we need all these grasps. I think I want all the Legion's Ends also. Like those mana creatures are, are really problematic. Do I just take out... It's like Dreadhorde Butcher gets blocked by all the mana creatures, but maybe if I play all the Legion's Ends, that can help. Mm. Let's keep in a couple of Rampages. I like how Rampage can get rid of... Maybe all of them can get rid of the Great Henge. Cutting a land to cut a fable passage. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Escoria. You you just missed the first game. If you were waiting for this deck all 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 day, you just missed the first game, not the not the match. So you haven't missed too much. I don't have the ability to play either of these on turn two if they have a goose. Good, no goose. Basically, I just want to get another land out of my deck. It It is kind of better to play Bloodfell Caves. And it's just one land, but... Yeah, I, okay. I should just be playing the Bloodfell Caves. You can be an aggressive deck with removal spells. Um, I just sideboarded in a bunch of removal. We don't necessarily have as much removal. Game one. All right, all the way down to 16. We're really getting there. No, Azel, Azel, I haven't. So grasping the the problem with grasping this is we don't have grasp for cavalier thorns anymore. It's the problem with grasping this.
not sure what's going on here. Guess my my opponent got disconnected right after playing the Wicked Wolf, I guess. It is up to one target, so I assume that it's just going to choose zero targets if... That's unfortunate for my opponent. They're up a game and, you know, playing a, a good card here with Wicked Wolf and getting disconnected. I mean, if we just, like, win the match here, it's not, like, the best way to win a match. But that's... Yeah, it's just kind of unfortunate all altogether. Like, let's say, like, they just, you know, like, lose the match here. Like, you know, they just got, you know, disconnected. Like, you know, internet went out kind of thing. Like, so counting it as a win over in the win column isn't really that. Yeah, we didn't win, really win. We didn't really lose, though. Okay, there we go. Good. Good. Good, good, good. Oh. I was like, how are they playing that thing? Castle. Troll King is back. And it's gone. X proof. Well, Umbercleave was a, a great draw. Uh. 
Okay, game three. So much good anti-aggro stuff. <laughs> it's hard playing aggro these days. Just so many... So much life gain with all these food. All this food everywhere. Wicked Wolf. Very good. So I could like take out like Dreadhorde Butcher on the draw here, try to go bigger. I'm just going to take out the Bone Crusher Giants and put back in a Rampage and a Wrinkle. Yeah, I, I basically took out Rotting Regisaur. I've, I've always played this deck with Rotting Regisaur before. I took it out because of how weak it is against Doko. I haven't, I haven't been too happy with Rotting Regisaur recently. Regisaur is a lot better with Frenzy, though, because it doesn't matter. Like, the, the discard a card clause doesn't really matter if you can't play the cards in your hand anyway. Um, I don't remember with Fable Passage. I, I believe I purchased the, the art style with them. Hexproof Paradise Druid. Pretty strong. Oh, that's too bad. I can't shock and Dreadhorde Butcher. That's too bad. That's too bad. Shear the wool from your eyes and spin you clarity. They've been playing, yep, they've been playing like they have Veil of Summer for how they like waited a turn and all that kind of stuff. Let's broaden your existence. Wallow in your deceit. Frenzy works pretty well with these adventure creatures, though. I would prefer to play Wrinkle, you know, like if we had the mana, we would have played the Wrinkle, but um, let's get both of these in play. And being able to sacrifice Dreadhorde Butcher is, is a nice creature to sacrifice. But yeah, we'll keep slowing them down. That's fine with me. Or is that value did good, Bertilux? It did really good. Both matches that I lost were were against two incredibly good players where we uh, played really long we played really long games and they they didn't go our way but 
Yeah, you know, they're really, you know, like they were like 30, 45 minute matches. Probably like 45 minute matches. <clears throat> so, so, so says, why not just keep the swamp and then discard the swamp and make them discard? Basically, because Experimental Frenzy, you want to have as much mana as you can in play with Frenzy <clears throat> to be able to play as many spells as possible. So I, I really value having the land in play with Frenzy. You know, next, this next turn I'm going to be playing Frenzy, we'll be able to do discard. Basically, no matter what I draw, we're doing the discard. But I, I want all the lands in play with Frenzy. And I think it's... I think it's worth it to play the land first. Stop. Even though if we have a land on top, then we just get nothing out of it. I thought that's all we'd be doing is turning on another Veil of Summer. Really good thing that we played that land. Yeah, Wrinkle, Wrinkle Frenzy is really nice, for sure. Why I tapped the mountain? I thought it. I did not realize it was tapping the mountain. To be honest. So yeah, we we get to just keep on making them discard a card, and and um, we get to play a, a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Yeah, the lag's been really bad today. I think it's because of like the the storm that's been here. I've been having to like reset every match. So I I apologize for that. I, it's been really bad today. Like I'm not uploading anymore. Like we already got I already got done uploading the Orzhov value from before. It's already up on YouTube with 79 views. So it's been up for a little bit. Yeah, Rakdos Aggro beats him. Oh yeah, restart the client like every couple matches. It gets... Whoa, I don't know what I just did. Cancel. Okay, good. Traditional standard ranked. Good. Thanks, Peppa Guy. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, definitely like playing different decks. <laughs> I need to get happily ever after more positive background de desktop. <laughs> Cancel worked. You have to cancel, like, you know, like, the first, like, half a second. If you wait a second, you're you're dead. I need to delete my log files? Yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> don't you dare replace Bolas. Rule. Uh, probably Teamer. They're playing the Goose. E. 
Yep. Hey, it's still Loco. I will it's always Simic. Kings grovel and worms rule. I invite you to change your ways. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we played against a non Simic deck and ranked. I think we did. I think we played against another one. Um, have I played Rakdos Sacrifice? Yeah, absolutely. Yep, I like the Sacrifice stuff. I like Rakdos. I like Jund. I like um, Four Collar as well. I am always ready. Um. Question is, how do you feel about the possibility of Arena staying standard only and consistently making cards unusable after rotation? That would be uh, not not a great outcome. That would that would not be great. And this has to do damage to a player to do this stuff. It's annoying. Yeah, I hope that's not the case. I hope they actually support Historic. And it actually becomes a format that people play. I, I would like Historic events. I would like to be playing Historic. But they're not giving me that option. I found something for you to dote on. Quest of mystery. Nine lands over here. Yep, yeah, when you yep, when you double strike Rankle, you get to trigger the ability twice. Yep. I need this card. I, I kind of want to play this Chandra. They're not going to have like Planeswalker removal besides damage, and damage against Chandra can help kill other Chandra, other Planeswalkers. Gonna just kind of trim around, I think. I'm just gonna kind of trim around the edges. Can you explain in terms of deck building what is the meaning for playing one ofs, two ofs, three ofs, and four ofs? Whoa. It is storming here, that's for sure. I guess I guess the electricity is still working and everything there. Yeah, that that's basically it. Like how like a card that you really want to draw a lot, you know, you want four of it. If you really want a good chance to be able to draw it and draw multiples at any given time. 
a card that you don't, you know, the, the you know, and then, you know, kind of goes down with three, two. A card, you know, one of is like a, a card that you don't really want right away, that it's better to have it in the deck than not in the deck, but it's something that you, maybe you draw like in the late game and it's still going to be valuable in the late game. That's not too likely to be in your opener or anything. Go get him. Get him, Rakdos. I wouldn't mind my next two cards both being lands to get to this frenzy. Nope, we're just dead. Tale about me is absolute nonsense. Fine, remain blind. One bite, and all just give me some lands. Gone. That's what I get from only getting the, the five land hand. <laughs> it's just only lands, or you either get all lands or all spells, nothing in between. Uh. Steady your mind growing. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Great, so they have Veil of Summer also. I don't really know how I'm beating Veil of Summer. Answers lie in the cold truth. Their hands gotta be so loaded they're just discarding extra royal scions. No, I don't think I've ever tried a Bant Adventure ramp deck. Thanks, HM. So, like, game one, I kept a, a really land-heavy hand, like, where we had a lot of lands, because, you know, like, we draw into Frenzy, and it works out really well for us, but we didn't. We just had, you know, like, we were attacking with Rankle with, like, four other lands in hand. With, that's all we had was four lands, and I had to choose we both draw because I had nothing but lands. And then game two, it's a five-land hand again, so I'm like, okay, well, we just saw that that doesn't work, so I mulligan... And then we get a two lander and never draw a third land until we're very far behind. So you just can't win, no matter what you choose. More Simic. Or some ink.
don't know if this is supposed to be like Simic Flash. Kind of feels like it. Ah, it's Teamer. It's probably Teamer Reclamation. This looks like Wilderness Reclamation deck. Yep. Playing against some different flavors of Simic. It's honestly not that bad for me, because Explosion, like, if they just cast, like, if they just, like, wait and, like, cast Explosion for, like, what they can, you know, they can, that will kill my 2-3, of course, and it would draw them so many cards. All right, they got infinite mana now. And I'm just wasting time. So I guess we're going like Davriel, Citadel, Chandra, all these duresses. Um, 
Robber of the Rich and Dreadhorde Butcher, Knight of the Ebon Legion. All these things die to shock, uh, which isn't fantastic. I guess Ryder I can at least cast as a 2 3. These shocks just aren't doing very much. Now there's the Angrass Rampage. Alright, here we go. Yeah, they look like they were just playing Explosion. Can't I can't take that card. It's the card I need to take. And I can't. So we'll exile something with robber here. Awesome. Good job, Robber. So now if we get another rogue later on, we get to attack with another rogue. Oh. Let me pick your brain for a minute. All right, now to time time to attack their resources with Davriel. Make them discard these lands. Let's tidy up in there. Love struck beast. I was planning on taking the Chemist's Insight. Red Cap Melee? Wow. Hey, Kempachi. Welcome back. Okay, I'm done. Probably should have just taken the chemistry's insight still. That's a really weird block. Not so sure about that block. It's possible they have like a two damage spell in hand and they want me to keep my knight as a one two so they can kill it. There we go. That's it's gonna say like that's the only reason why that block would kind of make sense. They're still giving up a bone crusher giant to be able to do that.
Oh, it's that late, Kenpachi? All right, well, I'll play your deck up next. We'll go with your Demir Control up next then. Yeah, so we're going to be doing Demir Control up next. That's a good card to draw. Those are not good cards to hit. I don't know, maybe they are for them. I guess they have this scry land with wilderness reclamation. <laughs> yeah, wilderness reclamation is pretty broken. That should really not be a card. Okay. We'll we'll run out of lands eventually. It's just we may be dead by then. Basically any time they draw um Basically any time they they draw Explosion, we die. Which it looks like that's what they did. Explosion for 14. Okay. Let's play one more. We're on the draw. Let's give this a try. Let's give this a try.
All right, well, Mountain's not the best draw. I do have more black mana than, than red mana. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign, and f your new look is enchanting. GG. Just played against this a little bit ago. The teamer. It does kind of feel like, as we keep playing these, Robber of the Rich and Dreadhorde Butcher just aren't really pulling their weight. Can I win without them? Is the question. We're gonna try. We're gonna try playing without those two cards, without the two drops. See how it goes. Hmm, this is not a planeswalker version. All right, well, Wicked Wolf going to be tough. But my opponent's got lands. They're going to be able to play their spells. That's a little better than what I got going on here. Such a good draw. My plan was like rank old, sacrifice the wolf. That plan is gone. As a lifelong green mage, I'm even disgusted at what green has become. One sided mana flare and Nissa. Green playing Tonkavu. That's also good against control. The best three mana removal spell ever. Printed for colors that's supposed to not have removal in Oko. If I didn't know any better, I would have thought they never played Magic for longer than five years. Don't really want to play Murderous Rider right now. Yeah, don't forget about like the, the best card draw engine with Hydroid Crisis. With green also, like the big the best big late game card draw spell. The best turn one play. Kill the goose. The brambles of truth twirl and curl, choking out lies. I see you don't share my vision. 
I think a little merriment is in order. All right, the wicked wolf's going to be able to kill something. It's just how it is. We're going to keep rankle around though. That's really nice. All right, still looking for our Frenzy. Frenzy would be our best draw. Oko would be our opponent's best draw. Opponent draws Oko. We draw land. Hooray. Magic. You are fouler than a fiend. I invite you to change your ways. Yay, we do frenzy. We have a shot again. I guess I could have gone for sack creature and then attack Oko. It's kind of risky though. There's a ripping mythic after mythic after mythic. They had nothing in hand, then they have Oko, Embercleave, Questing Beast. It's all mythics. Okay, so shock. Yay, we did it. We did it correctly. They also have a once upon a time left. I hope they have two more Okos in that once upon a time. Go put them down to the bottom. Countdown to one year. It's 11 months now. Thank you so much there, Feature. Okay. 
Yeah, our deck has just so much removal in it right now that I think it's worth just kind of killing everything. You know, this Love Struck Beast is going to be a huge problem. Obviously, they, they need a 1-1, one, one, though, of course. Make them get rid of that Ember Cleave. All right, cool. Frenzy, so good. It's our best card by so far. Hey, what's up, Boots? Yeah, Frenzy with just millions of removal spells is awesome. Okay, so they are not Super Planeswalker heavy. They have a lot more creatures. Duress was not bad, but I don't think we need that many Duress. I think I want this other giant. Take out a Duress for a giant. Yeah, Fable Passage, shuffling up Frenzy, really nice. <laughs> I mean, that's that's really what we're playing is Rakdos Frenzy. And yeah, Frenzy is really neat with adventure creatures, for sure. Yeah, you don't have the rogues, um, like the the robber of the rich, or the wrinkles, or both. But yeah, you can you can just play like other other good Rakdos cards. You know, like if you don't have those. Um, like rotting Regisaur works works well with frenzy. There's there's definitely other good two drops like you can play Steamkin you know Runaway Steamkin if you got that. I don't think Ten Street Hooligans in standard. What a surprise. I mean, I guess I should have, like, if I play Swamp, one bite, and all your cares are gone. I grace you with my. Like, if I play Swamp, I get to Noxious Grasp there, and then we could untap and try to have protection. Like you know, a removal spell here, but they'd still they still get the food token, and I didn't have the untapped land. Drawing all three of my shocks and them not having anything to shock is annoying. Yeah, Robber works well with Frenzy also. Honestly, this deck should probably just have four Frenzies. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Todd and chat. And, and of course, to Hawkeye, the awesome cat. The draws have been scary. The matches have been hairy. We are slaying the Oko monsters all night long. But when chat support Todd and Hawkeye, nothing can go wrong. I 
Aw, thanks, Axer. That's an... That's nice. Alright, we actually get use out of all three shocks. We get to use all three to kill the Wicked Wolf. But the Wicked Wolf is dead. They're dancing in the streets. The Wicked Wolf is dead. Turn that Umber Cleave into a 3 3. Dare you. Surely you must be famished. <sighs> You're too close minded. War boss with Ember Cleave is just I don't know, it's it's quite annoying to deal with. I'm leaving the knight back to block. Come on. The rider is gonna be so good at gaining two life every turn with the the war boss having to make a one one. And attack into the 2-3 lifelinker. That was going to be so good for me. Once upon a time card. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, it's game. Hmm. Well, they they could have re-equipped Ember Cleave, and they didn't. But all good. Okay. So we are one and three. These Simic decks are just really hard to beat. I 
you know, we just played f four Oko decks. We went we went one three against these, the four Simic decks. I guess I guess one wasn't a, an Oko deck. One was the expansion explosion deck. But I have to say that I was I was really disappointed with Robber of the Rich and Dreadhorde Butcher. Those two cards really were disappointing. They they were not very good. Experimental Frenzy was of course our was our best card by a long ways. The games that we were winning were with Experimental Frenzy. Rankle looked okay. But yeah, basically I think you could go like like a Rakdos control or you know, even going with yeah, probably just go like Rakdos control or something with with Frenzy. Like our best games are like Frenzy with tons and tons of removal, you know. So Honestly, like maybe just Rakdos control with just playing four frenzies for the for the card advantage, um, like where Rakdos doesn't really have like card draw. You know, if you're not playing like Grixis for blue, if you just stay Rakdos, and you could have frenzy for a lot of card draw. You know, maybe playing some other top end. You know, maybe just not playing Knight of the Ebon Legion or Robber of the Rich or Dreadhorde Butcher. Or, you know, playing any like playing those cards at all. Just get more removal in there and then play other top end stuff. I don't know exactly what, like maybe like Doom Whisperer, um, maybe some Planeswalkers. Like, yeah, maybe just going Planeswalkers like Davriel's, Chandra's, stuff like that. Yeah, I kind of I kind of feel like just going Rakdos Control is the way to go. Maybe a bunch of Davriel's and Chandra's and stuff like that. That could be the, the way to go. Ugin, Lily. Lily, like, draws cards, which isn't great with Frenzy. But, like, some of these removal spells, like, like basically Legion's End, Angrass Rampage, Noxious Grasp, Shock. Like, these are really good, cheap removal. And these these cards are awesome because you you can play them as creatures or play them as removal. So like if if your opponent doesn't have stuff, you get to just play them as creatures. Like these these two are just perfect with frenzy. Yeah. Simic is Simic is good. Simic is good. Um. Anyway, that's Rakdos Aggro. Uh. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube. Uh, please hit the like button and leave a comment over there. Let me know wh what you think we should do for Rakdos. How can Rakdos compete besides just Rakdos Sacrifice? Is there another way that we can really take advantage of Frenzy against all of these Simic decks everywhere? Besides just like, you know, Mayhem Devil and Witch's Oven and, and that kind of stuff. Also, is it possible that the, the Witch's Oven Mayhem Devil deck... Are they supposed to just be playing a whole bunch of frenzies? On it? Maybe they should. Like frenzy was just awesome. Enchantments are actually pretty. They're pretty good right now. I mean, I, I have like the the Rakdos deck that we have been playing. That like it's a control deck with Theater of Horrors. Theater of Horrors works really well with frenzy. Also, gives you another mana sink, and also just gives you more cards that are in exile that you still get to play. That's another option there. Because, yeah, I have liked Theater of Horrors recently. Just Theater of Horrors with a bunch of removal spells. Um, good cheap removal. So maybe Theater of Horrors, Frenzy, bunch of good cheap removal. There could be something there. I maybe need to combine the Rakt Rakdos Spirit and Rakdos Aggro. Kind of combine them together. Basically put Frenzy in the Rakdos Spirit deck. I think there could be something there. All right. Uh, anyway, if you're so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, I guess I already said this. Hit the like button, leave some comments over there. I would really appreciate that. But thanks for watching some Rakdos Aggro, and I'll see you for the next video.